Hi, I'm Dr. Victor Zhao, the Chancellor for Health Affairs at Duke University. And on behalf of our entire staff, the nurses, the doctors, the scientists, I'm very pleased to introduce to you the Duke Cancer Institute and to present a vision for transforming cancer care. Now, as you know, Duke has always had a great reputation for cancer care and research, but this DCI represents a vision of bringing together the very best and the brightest, all forming a team around the patient. We're gonna move research findings quickly to human application, and our goal is nothing short than finding cure for cancer. I hope you enjoy this film. Cancer is perhaps the worthiest of wars. To the early Egyptians, it was simply the sickness for which there is no treatment. Hippocrates called it carcinos, meaning crab-like because of its finger-like tentacles. It is cancer, the spontaneous enemy of the human organism. It mutates from a normal cell into many that are abnormal, then accelerates and aggresses out of control to interrupt the vital function of any organ it invades. With a toll of more than a billion deaths throughout history, cancer has earned its title as one of medical science's greatest challenges. Cancer diagnoses continue to rise as our population ages. In North Carolina alone, new cancer cases are expected to grow by 15% over the next five years. It has never been more critical that a leader step forward to accelerate our understanding of cancer and champion the effort to finally defeat it. That leader will be the Duke Cancer Institute. I think with the Duke Cancer Institute, uh, we'll be able to uh, further enhance this care uh, by uh, integrating in ways that have been challenging in the past. The Duke Cancer Institute is the first of its kind at Duke a completely new approach to cancer research and care. The vision is to have a transparent movement from the very most basic scientist on the campus of the School of Medicine or the university to the care of patients. Basic science is really driven by the innate curiosity to understand how things are um, from a molecular level up to an organismal level up to a population level and really to get a good um, in-depth understanding of the world around us. As a cancer researcher to me what basic science means is that research that allows us to understand fundamentals of biological processes. We've been able to develop screens for new molecules. We've developed these molecules and now some of these molecules are actually in clinical testing for, um, for metastatic breast cancer. Cancer is no longer about a discovery in the lab and then 10 years later thinking about maybe it will work in patients. It's about bringing the lab directly into the clinic. This is a pivotal moment in the war on cancer and it all starts here at Duke at the medical center consistently ranked among the very best in our nation for cancer care and one of the original eight comprehensive cancer centers designated by the National Cancer Institute, a designation we've been proud to have for nearly 40 years. Research, and particularly the development of new drugs, can take a very long time. What we're trying to do at Duke is compress that time so that we can take the medicines that we're developing in a laboratory today and literally get them into the clinic tomorrow. Without the basic research, without the fundamentals, you're never going to understand the processes to develop the drugs to actually move into translational research. Here at Duke, we have a world-class uh, school of the environment, the Nicholas School, and in partnership with them, we've been able to really make some major advances in understanding how the environment affects our risk for cancer and perhaps affects the way we treat cancer. Duke is committed to sharing its expertise across the nation and the world. One of the projects I'm most excited about is we opened up a clinical trial with a collaboration in Beijing. We noticed the importance of this international collaboration because cancer is a global disease. We try to, in an effort to synergize the East medicine and the West medicine. The Duke Cancer Institute will be transformational in the life of our organization, not only from the medical component, 
but the healing and comfort measures around the whole cancer patient experience. The creation of the Duke Cancer Institute and the construction of a new 267,000 square foot state-of-the-art facility is the crowning jewel in Duke's commitment to cancer research and patient-centered care. We want to do things here at Duke for patients and for science that can't be done anywhere else. More than 50,000 individuals with cancer sought treatment at Duke last year. Patients with cancer come to Duke every day at some of the most vulnerable and terrifying times of their lives. They also come expecting the very best. And that's our job, to deliver the very best every day. When you walk in the door, you have an oncologist, you have a surgeon, you have a basic science group behind the oncologist, you have people who are interested in your cognition, so that when you come to Duke, it's not just you're coming to a physician, you're really coming to a total management program. I always tell my patients that when they're diagnosed with breast cancer, you don't just get one of us, meaning doctors, you get five of us. Patient-centric care essentially says that the fundamental most important element of healthcare is the person in the center of the patient. So the Duke Cancer Institute really brings together all of the missions of the School of Medicine, uh, the clinical work that our faculty do, um, research and education. For too many people, no effective treatment is available for their cancer, or they don't have access to the best treatments. We want to change that. It is so important that the community sees Duke. We believe in prevention as much as we believe in treatment. And so we're out in the community just trying to encourage people and let them know that community is more than just a word to us. It's faces, it's people, and that Duke does care. Duke researchers are among the best in the world. They're innovative and insightful, ready to take the leaps that will lead to real advances against cancer. If we're going to cure cancer, we're going to cure it at Duke. There's no question in my mind, the next five or 10 years, there'll be a cure for brain cancer. We're not afraid to use the word cure. The hope is, though, in the future that we may have vaccines that actually prevent cancer. We will exceed our patients' expectations. Dr. Kelly Markham said to me, Jamie, cancer right now is like a lion to you. It's breathing down your neck. But as your doctor, it's my job through treatment and research to put that lion, that cancer, that disease, in a cage behind bars where it won't be able to hurt you. The quicker things happen, the more lives will be impacted in a positive way. We need to make a difference. Not tomorrow, but today. Get the science close to the clinic. We're impatient. We're supposed to be. People from around the world will look to Duke Cancer Institute as a beacon of hope. Duke Cancer Institute will strengthen and streamline connections between researchers, clinicians, and patients at Duke and beyond so together we can win the war on cancer. Now is the time that matters most to cancer patients. We can cure cancer in our lifetime and that would just be a really good day.